Hello, hello, dear Swissies! We are not in a metro in London or Paris, but in the metro from Zamat up to Soneca. A really cool and fast ride up to the mountains. From there, we continue with the gondola to Blauhert and then we make a leisurely hike to the mountain in Fluolp. Enjoy it! Whee! We are back in Zermatt and we go up to another hard place. <laughs> I have so many. Yeah, we go up to Fluolp. Looking very forward. What you see behind me is the Motherhorn. We are on the way to Fluolp. It's about yeah, 45 minutes walk and then we're there. You can already see our goal over there. Yeah, the small house. This is the Berg Hotel Fluolp. Rasta is happy to be back. He is still not 100% with his leg or whatever it is, but with hiking he has no problem. The only problem is when he wants to jump up on a big stone or yeah, something like this. But we are working on it, huh? So what you can see behind there is the Stelisee. Yeah. We will go there and all the people left <laughs> in the evening. Ah baby. And this is how the lake looks from the other side. And if we are lucky enough, the wind is slowing down in the evening and then we maybe get a reflection. Huh? Yeah, keep your fingers crossed. There are two ways going up to Fluolp. The right one is the more crowded place I hike. And this is the less crowded hike. The Hüttenweg. Yeah, we take this one. Huh, baby? I think Michi is already waving over there. <laughs> yeah. Michi is the Oberguru <laughs> of the Fluolp. Yeah, a good friend of mine. Yay! Back at Fluolp in our Lieblings room. <laughs> yeah, with the, that view. The first thing we do up here is napping. Whoa, that was a really, really good nap. Ah, I am behind the hotel right now. You can see it here. Yeah, my hard place, another hard place. My hard places are often connected with very good relationships. Yeah, yeah, it's normal. So this is a hard place for me too. And it is also a hard place for Rasta because he can run free. Yeah, baby. Yeah, he's watching for some marmots. <laughs> where are they, Rasta? Where are they? Huh? And now I hope that the wind calms down a little bit so that we get a reflection. Keep your fingers crossed. We have almost a reflection here. Almost. <laughs> yeah, we need to wait for the reflection, Rasta. Gal? <laughs> no, no. Na ande di nigga. 
I love moments like this. Rasta would prefer to go <laughs> in. <laughs> yeah, I know. Rasta is having a blast. <laughs> it's good to see him like this. He's still such a child. While Rasta is still playing with the stone, I am doing a time lapse. Yeah. Two time lapses at the moment. Yeah, one portrait modus and one landscape modus. Yeah, to get the best results. Oh, Rasta looks gorgeous. I need to do a picture with him later. So wonderful. We have a special encounter. This is an Ibex, an old one. And we try to not cross his way. Yeah. Because it's his home. He's totally chilly. He's standing there for five minutes now, doing nothing. And Rasta seems to relax too, now. Now they know each other. I was thinking about this Ibex encounter from yesterday because that was not normal. Normally when an Ibex sees a dog, he's, you know, and the Ibex from yesterday was just standing there and looking at us. And then I got the signal, he is on the way to die. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, I will check him today how he is. Yeah, the Ibex moved a few meters and he's sitting there. Yeah, I think he's on the way to die. What you can do in, in cases like this, you call the ranger. Yeah, and then the ranger looks after him to check if he's only sick or if he's old. Yeah, he really doesn't look that fit. A patik. Hmm. It's so sad to see such a proud animal like this. Oh, it made me really sad to see the ebex over there like this. But on the other way, it is nature. Yeah. At one day we all have to go. So it is. You may say a mountain breakfast doesn't look extraordinary. Maybe not, but with this view. <laughs> yeah, dann schon, gell? Rasta and I, we are on the way down back to Zermatt. And we say goodbye. We see us in late summer. And as I promised, we check now the Stelisee before we go home. Gal? So you see why all the people are coming here. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice lake. Overcrowded, but nice. So now you see why. The people are freaking out about this lake. You surely saw pictures of this lake on Instagram or Facebook or wherever. This is Stelisee. So with this last 
picture of the Motherhorn and Rasta, we say goodbye from above the mat. Yeah, and this is the way Rasta is saying goodbye. <laughs> yeah, we all know you. <laughs>